I mean, I'm, we're, um, how do you, t so here's the problem. Here's the found, up, right? So we're dealing a found up, all right? What's the, what's the problem? What's the pain? Okay, how do you teach an eight-year-old with limited English coding and make it fun? Right? And make it fun in the process. Yeah, making it fun is very important. Very important, making it fun. Okay? So now we're, and this is why Michael's like, why do you want to record everything? Because this to me is exciting important. So that's the problem. Right? The next thing is, what's the solution? So what I was thinking was this. Right before you even take them to the computer, right? Number one is you got to understand the, the the child. The child loves games, so we have to put it in a point of view. It's like, hey, we're gonna make a game, but instead of making a game on the computer, because that's that's the that's the that's that's the next stage. We do cutouts. We have different cutouts to represent different things. So the idea is we think of what are the components of a video game. What are the basic components of it? Right? Is there a hero? Is there, is there a map? What kind of game are you creating, Mikey? So it starts with that. What kind of game do you want to create? And then what are, so we look at the game genres. What are the game genres out there? Is it a first person shooter, right? Well, see, they, they have stuff like this already. Where like you pick what? all that and it's all canned and you put it together. Well, what do they have? Your whole game. So what, what, how is it broken up? Can we take this? So the thing is, is can we take this I want to it. I want to take this and turn it into paper, right? So the first stage, instead of putting them on the computer, let's like have this table here, have the table wide open. Let's create the different boxes, right? And then he can pull out the box. It's like, oh, this is a character, and get his imagination going. Oh, here's a map, right? Because you think. So let's think of it. Let's think of what, when we're both. I'm, I'm a fucking gamer, right? So let's think of. All right, let's think of number one. Is it a massive multiplayer game? What do you need for a massive multiplayer game? Okay. A network. <laughs> well, so you're thinking coding. That no, you don't need a network. Not initially. Well, you, that will come. That's part of. That's the underlying mechanics of it. But when you're thinking, when you're creating a massive multiplayer game, MMO RPG, you're thinking of the genre. You're thinking of what you're going to do in it. You're not thinking network. That's 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 down. See, you're already down here. Uh, you're like, I'm gonna be knocking this out. How is it gonna work? Well, and all you that. said, what do you need? So without a network, you can't even. You can't. You have but nothing. that's but the right. I, but that, I know. You know what I'm saying. Conceptually, conceptually, you don't start with the network. Conceptually, right. that becomes a problem that you have to solve. The network obviously becomes the you know, and then you have this mapped out. And I think you're right. You have this mapped out. Then you have to say, okay, how many players are we gonna have? How is going to host it? What's the network? What's the limitations? Everything else. And because then this is like, okay, because of these limitations, that's why you have Minecraft. And we talked about it the other day. That's why you have the simple pixelization, you know, of that. So you can have these, you know, huge, huge games, you know, on it. So I think it'd be kind of cool for, for Mikey to say, okay, what kind of game you want to build? So we have a, so what are the different things we would need for a game? We have, is there... All right, is it is it map based, which means you are? Or is it first person? Is it third person? I get, I don't know which. What would be the things that we would? I'm thinking. Of, right, what would be the kind of the components of a game? If I thought of something like UO, so if I was to describe UO as a game, I would say, well, it's map based, right? It exists on a map, and I on this map. There is an there is an there is an I there is a person, right, that I govern, and I'm interacting with other people. But if you're gonna let him pick, right, then it's not it's not something you have pre built. So you're going down this path where he's gonna make all these decisions, and then you have to support the ability to introduce. No, no, because no, no, because what you say. So I keep boiling it down, right? To start it all. You're going to have to do your character. So to start it all, you're going to start with character generation. So it's like you start with the big picture. You boil it down to the one guy. It's okay to build this one guy. So we, the whole, remember the whole idea you said, which I thought was really cool, is coding is process, right? It's, it's what did, how, what, how did sequence. you? Sequence. It's a sequence. So the point of the less, for lesson number one is introducing the sequence. The whole point of this lesson isn't the code, isn't the game, it's there's a sequence. So you start with the big picture, right? 
And that's the, that's the, uh, that's the goal of where we're trying to go. Well, what it, the goal is to have him actually write lines of code. I, I understand that. that. I, no, no. Makes sense. All right. But that, I'm not saying that's his goal. I'm saying that's the goal of the project, but not of his project, of the vision. This is the vision goal. So right. this is where we come from, too. Right? So, so the big, so understanding the big vision, this is where, 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 um, this is where our outlooks, our points of view very differ, okay? Because when I say the goal, I'm not referring to a goal for him. I'm referring to a goal as a visionary, right? This is my vision goal. I may have never reach that vision, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to achieve it and get as close as I can to it, right? So when you talk about goal, you're thinking, what physically can I achieve and do and how do I get there? Completely two different things, right? So my point is, is we get him, that's, that's the end sequence, that's the, that's the big thing. But then we end up zooming down, 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 into that code. What is that first line of code? And I think it would be the character creation, like you got your guy, right? Here's your guy. You know, it's like you need a guy. Does he have eye color? And so once he has this idea of this game he's going to build, and then you're pulling it down, correct me if I'm wrong, then it's like, well, the first thing I need is I need this person in this game. But to teach a coding concept through that, now you're talking about creating like an object and then giving attributes to those objects. And that's like a whole second level. Once you, because coding, coding is the three things, right? It's sequencing. Branching and iterating. That's the basic sequence. Sequence, branching, and iterating. Right. So the branching is a decision. So sequence, everything happens step by step, a bunch of instructions. Then the branching is okay. Now we have to evaluate a condition. Could could picking green eyes or blue eyes is that a branch? That's a branch. Okay, cool. Then so we have branching in this. So so we go if we can buy if we can get them excited about. See the thing is it's like in Dungeons and Dragons, creating your character, you know, is the most important component of the game. When I played Dungeons and Dragons, we would spend literally a week developing our character. Mm -hmm. And my and my friend Robert, who was an amazing DM, my, who was my best friend. You're now my best friend. He was my best. They're all my best friends. I still love him. I still love you, Robert. Wherever you are, you never call me, but I still love you. Um, the um, he would he and that's he taught me this. He would like stress the whole point of. You know, the, the character is so important, the background story, everything else. So I think, you know, if we can get Mikey to think, you know, about this character, that's his identity. It's his ultra ego. And not only that, the next stage is turning your ultra ego into a page. Because I was watching him when he was, when I was watching him play his game yesterday, he was meticulous. And we could take his game and say, look, you see how they're sequenced? You're, 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 you're selecting face stuff like this right all these different things how does that you want what is behind that it's like lifting the veil you know and maybe it's really simple it's just like two eye colors and is that a problem in 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 in, in, in but i'm, I'm saying but, we do all this on paper first so we say okay what kind of game and then and then we already have the thing okay and then he has he can pick out the eye color and all this okay now you know, the, the, I think that the issue with all that is you setting up this expectation and then you want him to see a character on the screen. You want him to pick the eye color and then you want him to understand in the code, this is what it would look like. And in the code, I would show an array and it would hold all the eye colors. Well, and I would say just two. It would only be it'd only, it. right. But I would only say like it's blue, brown or black or something. Three color. I mean, I wouldn't give him, you know, it'd be like red or, or, or blue. But he has to be able to go in there and change that line of code that changes the eye color and then hit a button and see it change graphically happen on a screen. Yeah. So you'd have a split, a split screen with graphics here, yeah. code over here. And then when he changes that, you hit the button and then you see it reflected. So the, the challenge is really <clears throat> because... But couldn't... It, but the thing is, see, I disagree because if if... We could get away from, right, there are modules, right? You can say this module is blue. And I can say this is blue, this is green, and they're just a block. 
So he drags the block down. Is it blue or is it the, the coding platform that I, it was that simple? There was no code writing. You define what the block. This is a blue block. This is the red block. So you want him to learn the coding just as the concepts of the coding and be able to pull the block down, pull the block down. Is it's a decision block? So you pull down the block decision, and then you can pull down the different blocks. And this is the decision. It kind of this block links up. So these are the decision blocks. And all the, the code is written underneath all this. Well, so that's, all he's, that's what Google had for kids. Yeah. And it, and it looked like puzzle pieces. And yes. And only fit together yes. a specific yes. way. Yes. That's what we're... So, so what I'm saying is we do the paper game version that leads to the Google Kids coding thing. That then leads to actual coding. But I, I think the, the, the Google version, everything's already graphically there on the screen. Why do you want to turn it into paper? You'd, you'd have to print everything out somehow. I'll just draw it. We just take papers and draw it, make it part of the different thing. Make it that I, I'm thinking. I'm taking take time to take a step backwards to take two steps forward. Make sense? So you know, tangible. We talked about that. It's like it's nice to get back to paper, tangible. And he's like drawing this, right? And we can like draw it together. And he could be doing his, right? Just make it super fun. Because I think the moment. I mean, I know he's going to be interested on the computer, but I think we need to like get him to the computer first. I don't know how that tra the Google thing then translates to like lines of code. I don't know that we can get to that. You know uh, what I mean? We'd have to look at the. Like, what do we load? We can load up the Google thing on the on the two. We can get. I, I can get the two. Oh, the only problem is with the Dells is is they don't have Wi-Fi. I have to get Wi-Fi sticks for them. I don't. Have to, I don't. They don't have Wi-Fi built in them. I'm trying to find the thing Google made. Anyway, all right. So that's it. Eleven minutes of talking nonsense. What do you think?